We will be honoring men and women involved in and affected by World War II. They include veterans from every branch of the service and from every battle, from the South Pacific and North Africa to Europe. The gifts will include African-American famous Tuskegee Airmen, the fighter pilots of the Army Air Corps, Army veterans from D-Day, the Battle of the Bulge to end of Germany, and from the Philippines and the South Pacific. We have death camp liberators, Coast Guardsmen, Holocaust survivors, Hispanic Americans who served in the Army, Japanese American POWs, Japanese American soldiers who served in the famous 442nd, American Indians who served, Marines from every battle of the South Pacific, Guadalcanal, Bougainville, Guam, Tarawa, Peleliu, Iwo Jima, Okinawa, and China. We have medics, merchant marines, Navy veterans from aircraft carriers, destroyers, transports, armed guards, LSTs, PT boats, CBs, and submarines. We have Pearl Harbor survivors, prisoners of war, women veterans from every branch of the service, men and women from the home front like Rosie the Riveters. There are over 250 guests we will honor, and over 100 of them are alumni of Milwaukee High School. There should be an area of interest for almost everyone. Involvement, I hear you're the um, mastermind of this event that's going to be happening tomorrow. Can you explain it and tell what it is? Well, it was about six months ago. I thought it would really be neat if Milwaukee High School could do something special for veterans of World War II and um, um, alumni of Milwaukee who graduated and then served in World War II. So we started the project about six months ago and worked on it every day since, and a lot of people have worked really hard, and as you can see, it's going to be a pretty impressive event. So. But basically it was because the 50th anniversary of the end of World War II gave, gave me the idea and everybody's been 100% supportive and excited about it. So what have other staff members been doing to help support you and contribute to your idea? Um, practically the entire staff is involved in, in doing things. For example, in here in the gym, uh, Jeff Gilbert uh, is handling this whole decoration with um, Barry Malcolm and Billy Haugen. In, uh, in the library is Sharon Stutzman and Sandy Bennett and Vera, Vera Bennett. Um, all the teachers of the first, second, and third floor and auditorium and commons are decorating decorating all of those. Um, Kathy Farrell and Bill Fleshner put together a program and I mean there's there's just lots of people who have been working hard on this and I hope I didn't leave anybody's name out. <laughs> uh, what about the students? What have they been doing? Have they been contributing ideas or just um, going all with the ideas and, and fulfilling them? I should add that the administration has been incredibly supportive and uh, we couldn't have done all this without their support. Um, the students, we asked them to uh, donate money to help pay for the lunches of all the veterans and honored guests, um, to pay for all the decorations throughout the whole school and a, and a memorial plaque that we're going to dedicate. And the students have donated over $4,000. Plus the students are helping decorate the entire school today. Um, and. Uh, We've got students that are hosting guests and a lot of things going on, so it's really going to be exciting.
today, and our first man, Milwaukee High School, who gave their lives in service to their country. Mark Estes, Bob Landstrom, Mickey Burke, Jack James, Talbot Bennett, Larry Dyson, Dave Cobb, Daniel McGrady, Keith Arnold, Bud Smith, Cliff Ray, Jerry Nelson. Yeah. 
You know, it was really sad because tomorrow we were going to try it again with a rifle. <laughs> Go ahead. 